Are you using my stethoscope to uh, listen to your dog's heartbeat? I can hear his stomach. <laughs> can you hear your stomach? So basically what a stethoscope is are two tubes that lead into ear, ear points and it has a, a way of amplifying sound so when you put the bell on somebody's heart that's how you're hearing what's going on. Or their stomach, you can listen to their stomach, listen to bowel sounds, right? So what would you rather have, a stethoscope in your pocket or this little contraption which is an app on your iPhone called the eye stethoscope. Uh, it was created by Peter Bentley and his students. And in fact, he uh, put a little message on my YouTube lately saying thanks for the video that we did, but we need to reshoot it again, or I needed to reshoot it again. Just again, because the microphone point on the eye stethoscope app on your iPhone, well, the iPhone itself has a very small microphone point. So you can hear your own heartbeat at your neck. Um, it's actually probably easier to hear it um, on your heart. So you're going to want to put that, and actually could you lift your shirt up, Chris, so they can see? He can't hear me because he's listening to his heart. Can you lift your shirt up so they can see exactly where, oh, he's saying he doesn't want to lift up his shirt. You did that for, uh, okay, there, there you go. So right at the apex of the heart, there's probably like six different places that you can uh, stick that, but th because the microphone point is so small, you really have to be quite accurate. And so actually left of nipple and just below is a really good point of access. And then after he gets a, a little bit of reading, you can actually tap on the stethoscope there, and it gives you a readout. You have a little short readout you could send off to your doctor's office or a friend. It's meant to be kind of a fun app at first, but then uh, Dr. Bentley recognized that uh, people who were interested in it were doctors and nurses and probably EMT people because you could have this on you at all times and you wouldn't have to have a stethoscope. You could use the eye stethoscope app. Now, like I said, you could measure your heart rate or hear your heart rate off of another point, say your neck. And, you know, there's possibilities for using that micro microphone for other things. Uh, people have been talking about maybe for a sonogram or, you know, just listening to a heart, taking a heart rate. I like the accelerometer mode because it makes it sound electronic. Okay, yeah, he's talking about one of the modes there, the ele the <laughs> accelerometer. Point. Here, where's where's the microphone on here? Wait, hang on. See if they can hear it. So it's interpreting the sound or the accelerometer. Yeah, of his heart. Well, it would be my heart if I was holding it up there. Yep. Sorry, there's not much to hear right now or see, but should be able to hear it. I think that was the microphone. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I don't know, usability wise, it's a little... Uh, we found it to be a little <coughs> bit buggy, especially the keyboard and sending it well, off. First of all, it's not very easy to read, and it was hard for me to see how accurate it was. But Yeah, you couldn't tell when it start and stop, and it wasn't usable in that capacity. It wasn't really intuitive that you would press the stethoscope to get the readout. The male icons are all, rather, th icons are hidden. I mean, features are hidden. It's there, but it's not very usable. I see the potential for it, and so I want to commend uh, Peter Bentley and his students and to keep working on it, improve that app, and mm -hmm. it could really be yeah, quite usable. Because there's no, there's no way of saying start, stop. It's just you switch modes, and there's no guessing, or you have where to guess started, where it's yeah. starting or stopping and how long. I mean, it's just it's cool, but it just needs a lot of work in the UI department. Yep, uh, I'd have to agree on that, and I see the potential and hope that 
they keep improving on it because I would love to see this very, very usable um, on the market and would be interested to see how the FDA plays into this in whether or not they're going to call the iPhone a medical device if people download this to their phones. Yeah. So, I'll still always be fascinated with the, uh, the regular stethoscope. It's always been a point of status and for doctors and nurses to have one of these and to be able to use it. Um, I think you need to stick that up to your head to see if you have a head beat. Do you have a head beat? Bang your head? No? 